Hey everybody, TacDad here. Today I want to talk about my Remington 870. I bought an 870 about a year and a half ago at Walmart. It was $300, $299. It since has gone up to $307, but still a pretty awesome deal for a 12 gauge. Uh, I used it for a trap, so it was my trap rifle. 28 inch long ribbed barrel with wood stock and wood foregrip. I wanted to uh, do something different with it, so I took off the uh, wood stock and wood uh, foregrip and I turned it into this. Okay, I'm going to have another video where I'm going to go over all the changes I did to it, but in this video I'm just going to focus on the barrel and the tube extension. Okay, so when you decide you have your basically hunting rifle or trap rifle you decide okay I want to do something different with it what can I do with it there's a lot of questions you have to ask yourself because there are just so many different choices so many different barrels available from Remington and from other manufacturers also that make this gun really awesome you can that you could have a almost an infinite variety of options on here to make yours unique so some of the things I went through this past month and a half driving myself crazy. What barrel do I get? Okay, I can get a vent ribbed barrel with an external choke. I can get a vent ribbed barrel with just a front bead. I can get a smooth, no choke, 18, 18 and a half inch barrel for home defense. I can get a slug barrel with rifle sights with or without choke. And I can get a smooth barrel with rifle sights with a fixed choke or possibly with adjustable chokes these are but a few choices that you have when just trying to decide what do you want to do with your 870 okay these are just a few these are by no means comprehensive so what do you want to ask yourself basically what do you want to use it for okay home defense competition or hunting what do you want to turn your 870 into? Well, I wanted more of a home defense gun and a three gun competition gun. So I wanted something between 18 inches and let's say 24 inches. I didn't want just an 18 inch barrel because that limits my capacity. So, so you have to figure out what length you're, you're going for. If you want a smooth bore or rifle bore, I just wanted a smooth bore so I'm not just uh, limited to, to slugs and what type of sights I wanted a choke system to be able to have flexibility and it really came down to for me capacity what capacity do I want okay the stock 870 comes with four rounds four rounds in the tube and one in the chamber so it's five total four plus one that's what that means so when you're shopping around for a barrel and you want to have higher capacity, you want to change that capacity, you want to ask yourself, okay, how long of a barrel do I want versus how many rounds do I want available? Okay, that's not an easy question to answer. You have to really go over it in your mind. Um, for me, I, I kind of wanted 10 rounds total. So... I did something, well, I'll let you know what I did in a second, but basically you you want to come down to, okay, what, what, what type of barrel and what's the capacity? All right, so like I said, you start off with a four. Now, different uh, manufacturers have uh, different ways of looking at this because sometimes you'll see something that says, this is a 10-shot tube, okay? Like this right here. They'll say, this is a 10-shot tube, okay? This is from Chote. And what that means is your total capacity of your rifle will be 10, sh 10 shells. This only holds five. So this is a plus five, okay? This only holds five plus the four that you had initially and the one, that's 10 total. So you have to make that distinction, make sure when you're shopping around, you know what they're talking about, okay? So when you're looking at Whatever barrel length you have, you want to measure from the edge of the barrel length to 
the end of the foregrip. So basically, up to this point here. From this point to the end of the barrel is what you want to measure to figure out how long you want your extension to be. Okay. Sometimes the extension can go past the front a little bit, and that's okay. I personally not crazy about that, but you know it, it, it's not going to hurt it much. But you have to keep that in mind. Okay. So let's just say since I'm reviewing Chote, this is their chart, but many other ones will be similar. A plus two means you'll have six rounds in the tube plus one in the chamber. A plus three tube means you'll have seven rounds plus one in the chamber. So, so on and so forth, okay? Now, like I said, this one, this one is the plus five, okay? It's nine total in the tube plus one in the chamber. This is 14, 14 and a quarter inches long. This is really made for a 28 inch barrel a 26 inch barrel looks like that the tube comes out just slightly slightly in front of the 26 inch one okay the reason why i'm focusing on this one because this is the first one i bought i wanted to have 10 rounds for the three gun competition and and also my club has a shotgun competition so i wanted the 10 round capacity so what i did was i bought this first and what i ended up figuring out is I can either use my initial 28 inch barrel with uh, this is a snap on front sight and a full choke and that ends up being that ends up looking like this oops sorry about that that ends up looking like this see that so that looks nice now I did not want to use that for home defense because that's a little it's kind of long so what I did was I selected a vent rib just I like the look of the red vent rib it just looks you know cool and badass so I got the vent rib this is the shortest vent rib I can find I got this off of Remington's website this is a 21 inch vent rib with uh, it came with an extended choke with an external extra full turkey choke and this extends out one inch from the barrel. So basically this 21 inch barrel ends up having the length of a 22 inch barrel. And it's still shorter than, than this plus, this is a plus four. So what I did was I got this tactical barrel, again because I think this looks kind of badass. And right here I have a eight plus one shotgun with a nice length and this tactical choke. This is a this is a Remington tactical choke. Okay, I haven't even shot this yet. Um, I want to see how what the sp spread lengths are, and maybe I'll report that to you later on. But um, just wanted to also show this is a plus two choke. This is for my Mossberg. This is a plus two, and this this is the tactical breacher barrel, 18 and a half inch. And this is a 930, and this plus two goes right up to the edge of this and that was perfect for me I wasn't sure if this plus two would be too long when I first got the shotgun but it's perfect also got this barrel this is a Nordic barrel clamp I got it not fully necessary but I got it because I like the way it looks and I did the same thing on this one okay now what you wanna what I wanna show you here on the on the choke the reason why I like the Choate versus the other ones. There's there's other ones. There's Remington extensions. There's uh, Choate. There's uh, Nordic. I like the Choate for a few reasons. One, I like the cleanness. I mean, this is this this was pretty dirty when I first got this. Okay, and it has this hole right at the end, so I'm able to put a a cleaning rod. I'm able to put some a paper towel, stuff it down in there. And then take a cleaning rod and shove it right at the end and it comes right out. So that's real easy cleaning. I like that a lot. Second thing I like is this comes with, these all comes with a barrel clamp and a, a follower. So that's two extra things you get. Additionally, the price point on this, this is about $45 to $55, almost $60, depending on where you get it. And that includes shipping depending on where you get it and what size. Some some places charge you up to $10 more for a really long one versus a, like a plus two. 
other places just charge you know maybe a few dollars more but uh, basically for fifty dollars you get one of these versus a Nordic Nordics are 75 and up and some other manufacturers are almost a hundred dollars so that's a big difference another thing I love about the Chote this is steel this is made of steel a lot of the other ones are aluminum the Nordic which I almost bought a Nordic for this is aluminum so I'm running around and I and I tap the end of this or I drop it aluminum is going to bend a lot more than this steel will so I got the steel and it's not that heavy I, I, won't, I won't tell you how heavy it is compared to the aluminum one but you know it's not uh, it's not a deal breaker so I was really happy with this one I've had this one on my Mossberg 930 for six months I've done uh, quite a bit of shooting with it I love it it works great and in particular in this shotgun the 930 I used the original spring that came with the shotgun this was a this was a four plus one I used the same spring when I added this tube now this is a plus five and this is a plus four and I'll tell you I've, I have not had to cut down the spring I used the, the spring as I got it from the manufacturer full size I put it in there and when I use this one I'm able to get nine in the tube and when I use the plus four I'm able to get eight in the tube and this one this one is exactly perfect as in the eighth one goes in you hear click and you have no play it's it's like there's like not even half an inch of play in there so but it but it fits and it cycles so that's uh pretty much it this is my 21 inch plus two inch this is a this is a external tactical choke that extends out two inches so this is basically a 23 inch barrel with a plus four which gives me which gives me a total of nine shells in here and this this I like a lot so what I'm gonna end up probably doing is I'm gonna get another another shotgun another 870 and another 20 another 870 with a 28 inch barrel and I'll put this one on there that way I'll have two in case uh, in case a buddy of mine or one of my sons want to come with me so so that's what's going on um, send me any comments down below I hope this table helps because it, it took me a while to uh, to make this and you know like I said make sure you know if they're saying a 10 shell round they don't mean it's a 10 shell round they mean it's it's a plus five so make sure you understand there's that table again okay make sure you understand that's how many rounds you get that the plus six I haven't been able to find I have seen a plus seven which is basically 11 in the two plus one in the chamber that's that's 12 rounds total and you definitely need at least a 31 inch barrel for that for, for it to be flush that's a 19 inches there on, on that tube I've seen that one I have not seen a plus six maybe it's uh I'm not sure if they make that one to be honest with you but if they do it'd be a 10 plus one and it would be 16 plus something inches so you need at least a 20 inch barrel for that all right so I hope this helps send any comments any questions I uh, I'm gonna make some reviews on these uh, Warren rifle sights that I put on afterwards and the stock and also what's going on here with the pistol grip so look out for those videos. Alright guys, until next time.